Hello RPA enthusiast, I am Raj, I am a certified UiPath RPA developer. Today I will be talking to you about the parameterized HTML email. In front of us is an HTML email. Now this email if you see uh, is properly in order and you know it's formatted correctly and it has an inline image. Now we have to send this kind of an email from UiPath. I have this UiPath file open in front of me and we will send it through this file. Now let's see how we can send it. So before we start we have to create the 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 body of the email uh, which will be in HTML. So here I have created the email body and it is written in HTML. It has these HTML tags. So what it has essentially is a paragraph and with with the with the contents. So it's dear customer's name. Thank you for contacting. There's line break over here and here. And then there is one more parameter here. And there is an image in here below kind regards. Now let's break it one by one and let's see what it does. So first we'll read this email body. We'll put it in a variable email body and then using the replace uh, function of string, we will replace the, the parameter customer name with an input argument. The input argument here would be customer name so let's do that i just noticed let's just do that so remove let's remove the hard coding and let's just write in customer name right and then we have um, the incident number and let's parameterize this as well and that would be in incident number and then finally so if you see we have now parameterized the name here and the incident number all we need in this html email now is uh, this image in the signature well this is very important what happens is in companies uh, which have customer support and they send automatic um, auto-generated emails to their customers uh, they want this email in a particular format and most often they also have a signature inside it so we need this signature and we'll see how to get this signature to get this signature I have this PNG image here this is a regular PNG image as you see so what we do is now we cannot send this image just like a regular HTML image like you can't just write IMG SRC and the address the path of this image and just send it no you can't do that because you need to send the image as well and your medium of transport in, in here is a email so how do you send a inline image not an attachment inline image how do you do that so to do that we'll first convert the image in a base 64 and then replace the image here the base 64 string and then send it so essentially what we are doing is essentially what we are doing we are just sending the image by converting it into a base 64 string that is it nothing else okay so let's just do that what we do is we load the image using the load image activity and we put the data in this image variable <coughs> the image variable is logo so what then what we do is then we have this another variable logo base 64 which is of type string so we are basically converting the image 
into string and the way we do is just by calling the base image function now if you see I have this one more function of scale scaling it down to 75% of the image I'm doing this because most of the times I've noticed that the image is expanding so uh, the image is 125% of the the actual image so the image is actually expanded in the in the email when you see it in here it's quite big like this so we don't want like that so I have scaled it to 0.75 first and then converted it into base 64 so if I just show you base 64 it is of type string okay we'll use this and we'll put the data in here and then again just as we did above replace the hash image with the actual image in base 64 that's it done and then send the email using SMTP in here I am using my Gmail settings so you know how to get the Gmail settings for SMTP um, like the port and the server name and everything it's here basically the port is 465 and the server is smtp.gmail.com using my um, gmail id and the password so i can't show you the password really so i'm using this password activity it it takes in the password converts it into a string and then i pass it in here the most important thing when you are sending an html email through this activity uh, the smtp mail message activity you have to tick this checkbox is body html yes and then you can send your email so in here also we have parameterized the two so this activity this whole sequence can take in three parameters one is the two then the customer name and the incident number now what you could do is you could have a table over this and uh, the, the from the table you can get the name and the incident number and then you can keep passing into this um, this whole sequence here and then uh, this is your parameterized HTML email let's just try quickly and see how this runs so it's done and we are waiting for an email I guess the emails here yes it is here all right friends 